boys and girls. Let's join Amos and Buster Bear as they swim far out into the blue, blue ocean looking for adventure. <laughs> Since this is so fun swimming around, having a wonderful time. Doggone, Amos. That's a, that's a mighty pretty boat out there. I wonder who it belongs to, you know? It don't look like there's anybody in there. There's something funny going on, you know? I don't see anybody. If there is anybody, maybe he's laying down in the boat and he's sick. Maybe we better should go over and maybe help him out, huh? Shut my mouth, Amos. There's nobody aboard that boat. I don't think there is. Let's take a look. Hmm. Let's take a look. Buster, I don't know whether this is a good idea or not. Well, let's take a look and see if the motor runs. Hmm, I can't get the slightest... Nothing happens, nothing happens. I, nothing's gonna happen, I tell you. Well, there's a good reason for it, I tell you. Just take a look. There, there's nothing in the, in the gas tank here. I think we better swim back ashore, we should. Ah, oh, this is no time to start swimming. Look at those clouds up there. Oh, and they're coming fast. Whoa, well, is there any way we can keep this little boat from bouncing around so much, Amazon? I'm getting seasick. Oh, what was me? If I ever get to dry land again, I'm going to stay there, I'll tell you. I never want to go out on a boat again. I wouldn't mind a little dry land myself, Buster, but I sure hope we don't land on those rocks over there. They're coming up mighty fast, and they're, oh, look out now. They're getting too close for comfort, I tell you. It's dangerous. Here we go, Buster. I'm afraid this is going to be it. We can't possibly clear those rocks. Oh! Doggone, Amos. The boat is wrecked. But even so, I was happy to have my feet on solid ground again. Oh, my head is spinning. Oh. So! You got smart, and you brought my boat back, did you? You wrecked it in the bargain. Well, you're gonna get plenty for it. Oh, for breaking Beachcomber's bill. But we didn't take your boat, Mr. Beachcomber. We saw an empty boat floating around, and we didn't do anything. I tell you, we didn't. Unlikely story. You took my boat, and you left me here to starve to death without any way of getting to the mainland for food or supplies. Shut my mouth, Mr. Bill. You, you don't believe such a thing as that. We didn't smash your boats to bits. Well, it's your fault, and I won't feel one bit about living on bear meat till somebody comes along to rescue me. I'll start the kettle boiling right now. No, Mr. Bill, you don't mean to say you'd put us in the kettle. Why, that's the worst thing I ever heard. You, you, you wouldn't eat us, Mr. Bill. Uh, we'd be tough, and you wouldn't like that anyways. Really, I, I tell you, Mr. Bill, don't do that. Only catch that in is that boat out there is too far away, and it's too rocky and too dangerous. It won't come for months, I'll tell you. Uh, and I'm going to live on bear meat. Oh, look, Buster, a bird. And it looks like a pelican. It's one pelican. Help! Holy doodle! Amos and Buster Bear, what are you doing out here? Well, we swam in when we saw the boat drifting around loose, and then the storm carried us out here and washed us ashore. But when we wanted to get away fast... Beach Grover Bill thinks we took his boat, and we got in a way to get into the mainland for food, so he's planning to live on bear meat, meaning us. But they didn't take your boat, Beach Grover Bill. You can see right here. The rope's rotten. That's what's happened. You stay out of this. You stay out of this, you little pelican. Uh, no matter what happens, I'm going to eat them, see? Hurry up. Hurry up, fellas. Run to the island. If you climb the trees, you won't be able to get down. Hurry up. You dead flashy. You come here. You can't get away from me, so you might as well quit crying. Oh, call out throw the squirrel pony at you, I'll tell you. Uh, Amos, you, you, you zig, and, and I'll zag. And, and uh, he, won't, he won't catch us. Yeah, pesky bird. Get away from my face. It's one of my aim. Stop it, I say. Stop it. I can't see what I'm doing. Hooray! Stumble and fell. That'll give you time to climb those trees, fellas. But climb as fast as you can. Ah, you think you're smart, do you? Well, I'll show you how smart you are. I'll get you down from those trees in a hurry. You just wait. You'll come down hard, all right. I'm just going to chop and chop and smart. Oh, 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 Patty, I'm going to crash any second. The tree's already to topple. Oh, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, help me quick. Got the way out into the farthest limb so the trill will go forth towards the water. Let's get out of the limb. Hurry up. Hurry up. Boy, I sure hope that soft water, whatever kind it is, it'll be a lot of softer than the ground. Anyway, here I go. Oh! Wow, you won't be so lucky. Here, Amos. Hold on to this fine. Don't let go of it, whatever you do. I'm going to give the other end of it to Buster out in the water. Hold on tight, Amos. I'll see that you don't fall this way. Don't worry about a thing except making a soft landing. All right, fellas. Don't waste a second. Tie the trunk of those two trees together with the vine as quickly as you can. You blasted bird. Come back here. Come back with my tablecloth. You hear me? What incarnation are you going to do with it? All right, fellas. Hold us up before you like a sail now. The breeze is blowing towards the mainland, so you'll go along fine. Say, there's a ship. I better fly over there to the island and, and tell them to rescue Beachcomber Bill. Doggone, I don't see why Patty's got to pick up Beachcomber Bill. He don't deserve to be rescued from the eye. He's so kind-hearted. Because if he weren't, Buster, you and I'd be stewing that kettle right this minute. <laughs> <laughs> 